Thank you for purchasing a Croft tow dolly. Croft has incorporated many features into this dolly to extend its life while reducing maintenance, including a torsion axle, sealed hubs, and galvanized finish. When used properly, this tow dolly will service your needs for many years. Because we care about your safety, it is very important that you do not allow anyone to operate this tow dolly until they have a thorough understanding of how to operate the tow dolly. This can be accomplished by paying close attention to the instructions in this video. You may also refer to the owner's manual when loading or unloading your tow dolly. Every year, many accidents occur, which could have been avoided by a few seconds of thought. You can avoid many of these accidents by following all precautions. There are limitations to what can be hauled with this dolly. Not staying within these limitations may cause damage to your towing vehicle, tow dolly, or the towed vehicle. A minimum 42 inches inside tire tread width and maximum 76 inches outside tire tread or body width is required for towed vehicle to fit on the tow dolly. The tow dolly includes tire straps that will fit all 13 inch, 14 inch and most 15 inch tires on the towed vehicle. Larger tires will require larger straps. Contact Croft Trailer Supply for purchasing straps for larger tires. Weight limits exist for the towed vehicle to fit on the Croft tow dolly. The chart lists the maximum weights possible. Mid or rear engine mounted vehicles are not towable. Towed vehicles must have a locking steering wheel. Towed vehicles must always be loaded with the front wheels on the dolly. Before every towing operation, review and understand the tow dolly manual. Check the following items before towing. The coupler, wheel nuts, tire pressure, fenders, for loose bolts, worn straps, cracked welds, worn safety chains, and frayed wiring. Failure to do so could lead to damage to your towing vehicle, tow dolly, or towed vehicle. Verify the trailer ball on the towing vehicle is 2 inches in diameter, with a rating of at least 5,000 pounds for non-breaking tow dollies, and rated at least 6,000 pounds for breaking tow dollies. The distance measured between the ground and the top of the trailer ball should be approximately 20 inches. This will ensure that the tow dolly ramps are not too close to the ground or the towed vehicle after loading. The towing vehicle's weight should be at least 1,000 pounds more than the weight of the tow dolly and towed vehicle combined. The towing vehicle's hitch and trailer ball must be securely attached. Lights and electrical plugs should all be in working order. To attach a Croft tow dolly to your towing vehicle, first park the towing vehicle and the tow dolly on flat level ground to avoid damage or injury. If your dolly has a lever lock coupler, first raise the lever into the up position. Lift the tongue of the tow dolly by the handle and place it on the tow ball. Keep your fingers away from the front of the coupler area to avoid injury. Lower the lever to lock into place. Insert the locking pin, if present, and pull up on the tongue to make sure it is properly attached. Your tow dolly is equipped with vinyl coated safety cables or safety chains. These are to be crisscrossed underneath the coupler to form a cradle and the hooks are to be latched into the eyelets on each side of the towing vehicle's hitch. Tow dollies with brakes requires the attachment of the emergency breakaway cable into one of the eyelets on either side of the towing vehicle's tow hitch. Take the wire connector on the front of the tow dolly and insert the plug into the receptacle on the back of the towing vehicle. Leave enough slack for the returning movement of the tow dolly, but not so much the wires are touching the ground. Check the turn signals, tail lights, brake lights and flashers on the tow dolly to ensure proper operation. Before loading your vehicle, confirm the towing vehicle is in park. The parking brake is set and the tow dolly is properly attached. Lift the ratchet handle to the fully extended position and unroll the straps from the ratchet. Return the ratchet handle to the down position. Lay the straps along the inside of the dolly fender. Repeat the process on the other side. Make sure that the platform is straight. Allow the tow dolly platform to tilt back by pulling on the release handle. Approach the ramps slowly and cautiously. Check to make certain there is adequate clearance between the ramp and the lowest point of your vehicle. Slowly drive the front end of your vehicle onto the tow dolly until the tires are resting against the wheel chocks. 
the toe dolly platform will go into the upright position automatically. Place the towed vehicle's transmission in park and engage the parking brake. If your vehicle is equipped with a standard transmission, place the transmission in a low gear. Turn off the ignition and remove the key. Make sure the vehicle is centered on the tow dolly and that there is adequate space between the tow dolly fenders and the wheel well on each side. Check that the tow dolly ramps have clearance under the towed vehicle. If your vehicle is not centered or you don't have adequate spacing, your towed vehicle and tow dolly could be damaged when the platform swivels during normal operation. Confirm the platform locking pin automatically entered into the locked position. Place the tire strap over the tire. Make sure the inside of the strap is not against a suspension part, a brake line, or the brake assembly as damage may occur. Adjust the straps so they are on evenly. Slide the ratchet assembly to the center of the tire. Insert 12 inches of the strap into the ratchet. Ratchet the strap down until the tire flattens slightly against the tire stop and leave the ratchet handle in the down position. Repeat the process on the other side. Attach the safety chains to the frame of the towed vehicle directly above the area where chains are mounted on tow dolly. Allow slight slack in the safety chain to allow some suspension movement of the towed vehicle. Avoid placing the chains over any brake lines or damage may occur. It's important to disconnect the drive shaft if your vehicle to be towed is either rear wheel or four wheel drive. Towing your vehicle without disconnecting the drive shaft will damage the transmission even if the transmission is in neutral and only towed for a short distance. Release the towed vehicle's parking brake and make sure the steering wheel is locked in the straight position. Remember to lock the vehicle and remove your keys before exiting the vehicle. Check the towing system after hookup. Tow about 100 feet and perform a safety check on all of the connections. Check the safety chains, ramps, electrical hookups, tire straps are hooked up properly and the coupler is properly secured to the tow ball. Repeat this safety check after the first five miles and then every 50 miles thereafter. It is a good idea to do a safety check anytime you have been out of sight of the vehicle. Once everything is safely connected to the tow dolly, you're ready to tow. Never load anything in or on the vehicle while it is being towed. This will create an overload situation and cause failure of the tow dolly during your trip. Do not attempt to back up the towing vehicle with the tow dolly and towed vehicle attached. This will result in damage to your towed vehicle, towing vehicle and tow dolly. If it is necessary to back up the towing vehicle, Unload the towed vehicle from the tow dolly and disconnect the tow dolly from the truck and move separately. Play it safe. Park where you can pull ahead when leaving. Always unload the towed vehicle from the tow dolly before disconnecting it from the towing vehicle. Failure to do so could cause serious injury and damage to your vehicles. For proper vehicle unloading, park the towing vehicle and tow dolly on flat level ground and apply the parking brake on the towing vehicle and the towed vehicle. Reinstall the drive shaft of the towed vehicle if rear wheel or four wheel drive. Remove the safety chains from under the towed vehicle. Remove the tire straps by raising ratchet handle all the way vertical and unrolling the strap. Leave the handle in the down position so the towed vehicle does not hang up on the handle when backing off the tow dolly. Take the straps off and lay them on the outside of the tires. Take the strap off of the other side in the same manner. Release the platform locking pin. Release the parking brake on the towed vehicle and slowly back down off the dolly. If the drive shaft was removed from the towed vehicle, check the vehicle's transmission fluid level before driving any distance, as transmission fluid may have leaked out. Return the platform to the up position and confirm the platform locking pin automatically entered into the locked position. Return the safety straps and safety chains to their storage positions. If you are ready to store the tow dolly, unplug and store the electrical wiring, disconnect the safety cables, unlatch the coupler and lift the dolly off the trailer ball using the handle. Attaching removable straps. Removable straps can be easily removed from the dolly and stored separate from the tow dolly. 
after pulling towed vehicle onto the dolly and setting the parking brake, drape the tire strap over the tire with the hooks toward the rear of the tire. Be sure individual straps are not twisted and the inside of the strap is not against a suspension part, a brake line, or the brake assembly. Center the strap on the tire. Attach hooks onto loops on the platform located right behind the tire. Insert 12 inches of strap into ratchet and tighten the strap with the ratchet until the tire flattens slightly against the tire stop. Leave ratchet handle in the down position. Operating lever action ratchet. Adjust the strap so they are on evenly. Remove the safety pin. Slide the ratchet assembly to the center of the tire. Insert the strap into ratchet and tighten the strap with the ratchet. Leave the ratchet handle in the down position by pushing up on the pawl to drop it down. Replace the safety pin. Repeat the process on the other side. Release the straps by pushing down on handle until the sprocket is released and unroll the strap. Leave handle in the down position while unloading. Operating screw lock coupler. If your tow dolly has a screw lock coupler, loosen coupler loop nut. Lift the tongue of the tow dolly by the handle and place it on the tow ball. Hand tighten the loop nut and pull up on the tongue to make sure it is fully seated. Keep your fingers away from the front of the coupler area to avoid injury. The advantages of a braking tow dolly includes shorter stopping distance, better control of tow dolly, less stress on towing vehicles brakes, and increased weight capacity. Brake fluid in the master cylinder should be checked before every trip. If low, fill with DOT3 or DOT4 brake fluid from a sealed container. Brakes should be evenly adjusted. When connecting the tow dolly to the towing vehicle, attach the hook on the emergency breakaway cable into one of the eyelets on either side of the towing vehicle's tow hitch. This is a very important safety device that will apply the tow dolly brakes in the event the tow dolly becomes disconnected from the towing vehicle. When doing a safety check, carefully feel for heat on the wheels. A little heat is normal. If the wheel is hot, discontinue pulling the dolly. Unload the towed vehicle and have the brakes checked by a qualified service technician. Failure to repair brakes could cause damage to your tow dolly or towed vehicle. Safety precautions. Please take the following added safety precautions when hooking up and using a tow dolly. Contact Croft Trailer Supply if you have questions. Failure to comply with Croft's towing instructions may result in damage to the towing vehicle, towed vehicle, and the tow dolly. Croft Trailer Supply will not be responsible for damage as a result of improper use. Thank you for purchasing a tow dolly from Croft Trailer Supply. Have a safe trip and happy towing.